Hey, it's Joy. Welcome back to another Whimsy Stamps video. Today I'm going to share a fun little card. It's clean and simple and it's a little bit beachy and a little bit froggy. So I start off my card by stenciling the Making Wave stencils and I am blending Distress Oxides in the colors of Tumbled Glass and Broken China. And I'm using a blending brush for this and I'm making sure to use my brush horizontally because those wave lines are so fine detailed. If you were to go vertical, you would bend those and then your blending would be kind of a mess. So that's just a small little tip to use if you're going to try to blend with a blending brush. You could also use one of the new pouncers that's, that's in the store and you would get a really good blend that way as well. So here's that reveal. reveal. Now I am bringing in the little frog that's got the snorkel from the uh, Beach Frog stamp set. And I am stamping that with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I'm stamping that twice just because I want a really dark, crisp line. Um, you could absolutely go over that again with a fine liner. I didn't feel the need to do that. So I decided to Copic color those, of course. Um, and so I start out by priming my paper with my YG01. Just so you know, all of the products for Whimsy Stamps will be listed in the description box below if you're interested in making this card. Now I am moving on to my darkest color, which is my YG67. And I am making sure to put that underneath the eyes and along that upper lip because I am pretending that that lip is kind of curling over kind of like a frog's mouth. Three, and I am making sure to blend out that YG17 and extend that YG03 almost to the very tip. And I want to blend out the rest of my frog. I think he looks pretty cool like this. But remember, he's going to be partially underwater. So I bring in my B01 and I color the bottom of his lip a little bit blue so it gives the illusion of being underwater. For the snorkel I do the same kind of coloring. I use a C3 and I moisten the paper all the way down the snorkel and then I come in with, with my C7 and I'm concentrating that onto the left hand side and the portion that's under the water. Then I come in with a C5 and I blend that slightly. I don't really worry about much of a blend since, since this is such a small portion of the image. Now, I wanted his eyes to be super black, so I came in with my Copic 100, and you're gonna see that there's a huge difference between the eyes now. It really makes those highlights pop. I fuzzy cut him off camera, and I also die cut the stenciled area with a circle die. And I'm laying out, I'm kind of auditioning what I want my car to look like. So my goal is to make this look like a porthole. So once I get my spacing, I use my Misty and I uh, stamp my sentiment with the same Broken China Distress Oxide ink that I used for my blending. And that's just so that I have that color repeating throughout the card. Now, you know me, I like a little bit of a pop of red, so I came in with Crackling Campfire, which is a red-orange, 
and I stamped this little fish from the same frog, beach frog um, stamp set. Now I am gluing down the black circle. So I used two circle dies to make a frame. And then I am double layering that circle so it sticks up just a hair more. And I'm putting that down. Then um, I decide that I want a little bit of something in there. So again, I'm auditioning the frog and I'm putting in the blub blub. And I stamped that twice with the Memento Tuxedo Black. I think that turned out really cute. Ultimately, I decide to pop the frog up on some foam tape. So I actually doubled that up on the frog so he would be kind of sticking out and be large and in charge. But um, that comes here in just a second. So I do want to say thank you for hanging out with us. We at Whimsy love uh, sharing our makes and our takes, giving away any little bit of information to help, help you learn anything about our products. So thank you for hanging out with us. We would really love it if you would consider liking, subscribing, and maybe leaving a comment below. Another tip and trick I always use is use a little bit of wet glue on my foam tape. That way I have a little bit of wiggle room. It gives me time to move it in place if I need to. And I am taking those bubbles that are at the end of the circle and I am adhering that to the top of the circle as well. I think that turned out really cute. I used some silver halfback pearls from my stash to make the porthole effect. Um, you could color that with like a Copic marker if you wanted those to be a monotone, but I'm okay with them being silver. In fact, I kind of like the contrast and I'm just using my Barely Art glue to put that down with a crafter's wand. I think it turned out really cute. Um, here are some final looks at my card. I love this. I loved hanging out with you guys. I would love to have your feedback. So until next time, keep crafting. Have a great day. Bye-bye.